November 16, 2001 was a Friday. If each of the year 2004, 2008, 2012 had 366 days, okay, in normal terminology, we call them leap years. Generally, leap years are considered the years that are multiples of 4 but are not multiples of 100. Now, and the remaining years from 2001 to, through 2014, the other years have 365 days. Then what day of the week was November 16, 2014? So we have to move from 2001 to 2014 while the date remains the same, November 16 to November 16. That means the total years that we need to consider 2001 to 2014. The total years that we have is equal to 13 years time. Now among these 13 years, we have three leap years which have 366 days each while the other 10 years have 365 days each. Now, how do we move from through 13 years? Now, we need to understand one very basic calculation and that is that if we move in a calendar by 7 days ahead or 7 days behind, then the day does not change. By that, what I mean is that for example, on November 16, 2001, if the day is Friday, then if you move 7 days ahead, that means 16 plus 7, which is November 23, 2001, then the day would still be Friday. If you move 7 days once again ahead, that means November 30, 2001, the day would still be Friday. Or if you move 7 days behind, that means minus 7, so November 9, 2001, would still be Friday. Now that's the logic we have to use, that means the cyclicity of day in a calendar is equal to 7 days and when we are moving a year ahead that means when we are moving 365 or 366 days ahead then we need to know that how many cycles of 7 we are just passing through and what is the remaining so let me just quickly call them odd, odd days right so 365 days when divided by 7 the remainder is equal to 1 we call it one odd day. That means if we move one year ahead in a normal year or one year behind, then we move the same date by one day, right? And in leap years, if you divide 366 by 7, then the remainder is 2. That means we have two odd days in a leap year. But now we are considering three leap years. So let's quickly calculate the total odd days will be 3 leap years and 2 odd days each plus 10 leap years, 10 normal years and 1 odd day each. That means the total odd days that we have is equal to 3 into 2, 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 days. Which means, but 16 is again bigger than 7. So we can further divide 16 by 7 and then the remainder is 2. Which means we have finally 2 odd days if we move from November 16, 2001 to November 16, 2014 and we have to move by 2 odd days. Now, 2 odd days means we have Friday here. So, one day ahead will be Saturday and the second day ahead will be Sunday. So, what we finally have figured out is that on November 16, 2014, the day will be Sunday, which is option A. Therefore, the option A becomes our correct answer. Thank you so much.